do, do. I don't know how this was going to go. She's actually recording. That's fine. Um, okay. She's the one that comes out and visits every time I go to theater, which I find adorable. But she's that also makes her quite bold, so we'll see how it goes. All right, here we go. My V Paranensis. I got these from Tom Patterson, and that says L Velocipede. So as you can see, I didn't remove the label. That was dumb. V Paranensis. Vitalis, Vitalis, something. That's a tough one because I, these guys, I kind of, I bought these not on a whim. I did research beforehand, but it was like I was looking for cool new species that I could talk about and hopefully, you know, promote in the hobby. These guys come up. I love this girl. She's adorable. Um, very bold. When I go to feed her, she'll come right out. She just came out and did a little lap a minute ago, uh, which makes her also a little bit unpredictable. So we'll see how this goes. And there she goes. Well, give it a good And there she goes. Seriously, she's nuts. <laughs> she, I love this spider. She's on the other She's on the side. Yeah, right no, now she's over here. So we're going to pull this out. Can you get a shot of her? Gorgeous little girl. Kind of a Fonapelli looking. But uh, I got them as juveniles, I believe. As a dog drinks in the background, because again, that is my trademark. The clicking and the drinking. And there she goes. Up here, get a good shot of her. Yes, I've got a fantastic shot of her. It's amazing how strong they are. Brew out of here. Oh, and there she goes. Yeah. And what we may do is cut. I, I, a lot of my videos, I like to keep for the rehousings, and I'll let people chime in on this. I like to show how long they take because I think if you keep your cool and take your time, it's very important. But I know that some people get bored and start saying things like, where's the spider? So I'll leave it up to people of whether or not to keep it the way I've been doing it. Oh, little threat pose. Oh, you nasty She threat pose when she was in the cup. Was she? Oh. Yeah. I love it. She's bold as heck. If you want to get a nice... Here, I'll go ahead and two times it. There she is. Gorgeous little girl. Now, I kept... As you can see, we back this up. I'm going to go ahead and put the top of this down. These I get off Amazon. You can find them for about 15 bucks. Uh, the only drawback, they can be easily ventilated. Crystal clear. I'm not sold on the hinge only because I'm really afraid I'm going to have to build something that I could wedge in here when I'm working because I'm really afraid what's going to happen is if this thing falls down or something's trying to escape, it could harm it, obviously, and then they don't class. So what I do is I stack them on top of each other, and then the first one comes right below my shelf, so I have something that squeezes in there so they cannot get out. So it works just as well as a lat uh, latch. But I love the size of them as my son, Kale, does God knows what up in his bedroom above us and shakes the whole house. I love the size of them. I love the clarity. They allow some room for substrate because I'm hoping this one will go ahead and do some of her burrowing again. And as you can see here, she had burrowed all the way down. Um, she had two water dishes. One was covering this hole here and basically lived in there and had two entrances, which was pretty cool. And then usually when I'd pop open the container, she'd come running out to greet me. And as you can see, she's quite bold. She's starting to calm down now, but beautiful, beautiful spot here. We'll get another little look at her. She's behaving herself. You can get right up in there. She won't bite you, I don't think. If she bites me, you're in trouble. No, no, no. Good. There she is, V. Paranensis. I'm not sure what the common name is on this one, but if you guys can find these, as you can see, they're gorgeous. Beautiful little spiders, very spunky. Not mean or defensive. I mean, obviously, she just got taken from her home for the first time. She's been in this thing since she was about yay big. Actually, no, I think I heard something else and put her in this one afterwards. But this will give me, I'm trying to move my guys into stuff that's clearer, that I can see them more. It's easier to do maintenance. And I don't have to use a flashlight to shine through milky sides to see them. And hopefully, she'll be good. I'll go ahead and fill the water just. So there we go, V. Paranensis. And I will do an update on her because I'm kind of curious to see if she, does, if she burrows again. Or if she abandons the burrow and lives more terrestrially. Next up, we have my Lazy Dorides Polycuspilatus. Uh, this one I joke with my buddy Dave, who has his channel, Eerie Arachnids. Great channel. You should check out. I'll put a thing at the end. Um, he almost bought this one out from under me when I got it. I guess there was one left, and he almost got it, and I ended up getting it. So, ha ha, Dave. But seriously, love this one. Hopefully, she shows up well on film. Those pinkish knees. Just another gorgeous-looking... Almost looks like some type of a fauna pelma brachypelma hybrid, just the colors of her. Yeah, it's coming out great. Yeah. 
Wow. As a sling, when I got her, she was about an inch, I think an inch and a quarter. She did a, quite a bit of burrowing, and she would have two entrances, and she'd come out and get stuff. Lately, she has completely filled in her burrows and just kind of sits out in the open. She's also very bold, which I love. You can see she molted not too long ago, or this one just got uncovered. So we're going to go ahead and try to get her in here. She's usually pretty laid back. Lost her bolt. As she threat poses, my brush. Man, I am just batting zero today. All right, girl, come on. Yeah. This is, I've gotten like, what, three threat poses today? I never get threat <laughs> poses. All right, this is going to be interesting. She is standing her ground. So this is a bold spider. I would not stick my hand in here. Sadly, I was going to mention beforehand, she's one I, like, was cute and I thought I might want to handle. There we go. No, you're going to go in there. Stop attacking the brush. That's your new home. I'm just kidding. It's not your new home. All right. This is going to be a tricky one. I actually, it's funny. The ones I expected to be jerks were fine. And before anybody calls me out, I'm just being playful. They're not jerks. I had somebody like all upset because I called one of them jerks. And she's like, oh, only people are jerks. It was just a figure of speech. All right, there we go. Just calm down a little bit. So what we have here is, if you look, I don't know if it's showing up on film, there's a layer of moisture substrate on the bottom and then dryer on top. Sometimes this encourages them to burrow. There you go, girl. Hey, that was harmless. All right, you want to get a shot of her before we close this one up? And this is one of the, oh God, I didn't bring the label in. I get these containers off of Amazon. They're about 15 bucks each. And as I pointed out in another video, the only thing you want to be careful of is A, they don't have latches. So you can stack them, which will hold them shut. Or you can put something heavy on top of them, the old rock trick. Um, also, because they're hinged, that could be uh, a hazard as far as if one of these, if I was holding it up and I let it go and the tarantula was here and dropped it. That could be deadly. So just something to think about. But they do look so darn pretty. They're completely clear. You can put a great deal of substrate in them. And they look really nice on a the shelf. They're stackable. A lot of things going for them. I am going to try to figure out some way to rig these with magnet clasps, uh, clasps here that will hold them shut. But there we go. Lazio Dorides Polycuspilatus. Thanks, Dave, for letting me get this one. Beautiful girl. Hopefully she's showing up. I can open this up one more time. She's being behaving. You want to uh, get right up on her. There she is, nice and close. Beautiful little thing. I love it. Are the pink showing up? It's almost a pink tone to the stripes yes. on her leg. Beautiful little girl. Very bold. A little sassy. L. polycuspilatus.